In this video, I will walk you through the steps required to set up your IRCC account, which you will access to submit various temporary resident applications during your time at Tier U. The first step is to navigate to the website Canada.ca. Like most government websites in Canada, you can choose to view the content in English or French. Under Most Requested, click on Login to an account. On this page, you can select which Government of Canada online account you wish to log into. Click on Immigration and Visas. You have two options for creating and signing into your account. First one is Sign in Partner, where you will use your online banking login. Second one is GC Key. Government of Canada Credential. Your GC key can be used to access multiple Government of Canada online enabled services. Please read the terms and conditions and click I accept. Once your account has been created, this is where you can sign in. However, you must first set up the account. Click on the sign up button. Create your username with reference to this checklist. Create a password with reference to this checklist. Now it's time to create your recovery questions, answers, and hints. These will be used to help you if you forget your password. Use the drop down arrow to select a question from the list, then provide an answer for it. When done, click continue. You now have confirmation that the GC key sign up is complete. Click continue to leave the GC key service and return to the Government of Canada online service. Once again, select your preferred language for viewing the content. There are two options here to access your account. First, under services and information, you can click on my application. For the second option, and the most requested, click on sign in or create an account to apply online. Click on continue to GC key. Read the terms and conditions. If you agree, click I accept. With reference to your passport, Enter the requested information and then click the continue button. Congratulations, your account is now set up and ready to use. On the top section, you will see submitted applications. In the middle section, you will see applications that are in progress and not yet submitted. At the bottom, you have three options. The two that you will most commonly use are apply to come to Canada, this is the starting point for all temporary resident applications, study permits, visas, co-op and post-graduation work permits. Transfer schools. If you change from one designated learning institution to another, you must notify IRCC using this link.